Susan Edgar, the entrepreneur's godmother. I actually started off in hospitality. Then in 2011, I decided that I was going to start my own company to teach small businesses to sell the way that I sell. I've been working with some amazing clients, apprentice winners, driving den winners, and speaking at events for large corporations. Sales is not about talking, it's about listening and really getting to the bottom of what people need. In 2016, I decided to capture everything I teach and put it into a book. So, um, and I think the reason that that was so challenging is I was a late in life um, dyslexic, I was diagnosed dyslexic. The book kind of went mad. It sold out on Amazon on launch day. Um, people had to wait two weeks to get a copy. It was a WH Smith top 10 business book. I didn't think I could ever write a paragraph, let alone a book. For me, belief. Belief doesn't come from what other people give you. It comes from your own heart, your own passion and your own head. So I think you have to really rely on yourself. I think it's okay to set yourself a goal. And I, and I think it's not just setting the goal, it's breaking the goal down to, into smaller parts. So for example, you know, when I was writing the book or when I set up a business, I had a big goal, a big dream. Like I wanted the book to be a, a WH Smith and Amazon number one. I wanted my brand to be known with big customers, but you, that's okay to have that big goal, but I think breaking it down to the small goal, because if you make things too big, they become really overwhelming. It definitely makes it easier if you're passionate about something. You know, sometimes we're thrust into careers or paths that we think will please our parents or will please other people. And it's not, you know, I believe really strongly that everybody has a thing. And sometimes it takes a while to find your thing. For me, my thing was sales and business. And, you know, it, there's a, an old adage that, it, you know, if you do what you love, it never feels like work. I never feel like I'm working. I just adore what I do every day. And I think a lot of people are scared to follow that passion. So to me, it's everybody has a thing. It might take you a while to find it but it will be there.